Hello everyone, welcome to Made It. You might be wondering why they made a video on organ lens, but trust me guys, it's not just a show off thing to know, but it really has a lot of clinical implications. So a few months back, I was in my clinical rounds and all of a sudden my professor asked me, what's the length of duodenum? He didn't enjoy my silence at all. I was completely clueless and wondering why would such a big clinician need to be interested in asking the length of an organ. So what's the use of remembering these unnecessary GKIQ numbers like the organ's length, organ's width and so on, right? But later I got to know that it has a crucial role in various investigative purposes like the endoscopy, ERCP, MRCP and various other procedures that uses probes. It will guide you to know what extent you need to descend or ascend the probe. For example, to reach the duodenum, how long do you think the endoscope needs to be? So you need to know the length of buccal cavity, the esophagus, stomach and the duodenum itself, right? And this is exactly why we brought you this video. And here we'll be talking about the structures that are 25 centimeters. And on our upcoming videos, we'll be similarly preparing videos on the organ lengths of various other organs, apart from this 25 centimeters organs. So there are two ways to remember this. One for them who are good at imagining things and other for those who have a good memory. So in this video, we've mentioned both the ways and I suggest you guys to watch both the ways so that you don't forget it ever. Basically, human body is like a machine and we have these organs in our body where food, feces and urine travels. And these organs which I'm going to talk about has three common similarities. The first one, yes, you guessed it, they're equal lengths. The second one is their pipe-like structures. And the third similarity is that all of these organs are connected to a reservoir or storage organ, either of food, stool or urine. So I'm talking about the storage organ for food, stool and urine. Can you name them? Okay, so I'll wait for a few seconds. Let's see if you know. Okay, so the first one is a food reservoir. Yes, the stomach. And there are two structures, one coming towards the stomach and one going out of the stomach or away from the stomach. And let me tell you that both of them are 25 centimeters. So yes, the length of the esophagus that comes towards the stomach and duodenum that goes away from the stomach are 25 centimeters. Similarly, the second one is the stool reservoir. Yes the sigmoid colon. So the descending colon that is connected to the sigmoid colon is also 25 cm. Basically sigmoid colon itself is a continuity of the descending colon as the colon itself is a large organ and it has various parts. So one of the part of colon, the descending colon has the length 25 cm. And the third one is the reservoir of urine which is the urinary bladder. So what connects to the urinary bladder? The ureters, right? Or the urine pipes. So the ureters that are connected to the urinary bladders are also 25 centimeters each. Now imagine for a few seconds, esophagus coming to the stomach and duodenum that comes out of the stomach. And then imagine descending colon that comes towards the sigmoid colon. And finally the ureter approaching towards the urinary bladder. All of these are 25 centimeters. Remember again, the organs that are 25 centimeters are esophagus, after that comes duodenum, then comes descending colon, and then comes ureter. Or you can use this easy mnemonic uh, that is DUDE, D U D E, which stands for duodenum, ureter, descending colon, and esophagus. And to remember the length, you can remember this trick called dude is 25 year old or dude is 25. So the mnemonic becomes dude is 25. Again, dude, which means duodenum, ureter, descending colon, 
and east of Vegas. So do this 25. So moving on to the next part of the video, now let's talk about the structures that are 45 centimeters in length. There could be other dimensions rather than 45 but I chose this one thinking it would be easier for you guys to relate like first of all we discussed about 25 centimeters and then now 45 centimeters. So the vast difference which is a part of male reproductive organ is 45 centimeters in length. The thoracic duct or commonly called as the left lymphatic duct which is the largest lymphatic duct of the body to measures 45 centimeters. The spinal cord in humans is 45 centimeters in length and femur which is the longest bone of human body measures 45 centimeters for an average 6 feet height person. Similarly, the transverse colon, which I had already mentioned is a part of large intestine or colon, is also 45 centimeters in length. Now, let me ask you all a question. Can you name the parts of the stomach? Okay, so the anterior most end of the stomach, also called as the cardiac end of the stomach, since it is near to the heart. Whereas the terminal end is called the pyloric part since the stomach ends as the pylorus of stomach. So the distance between the upper or the maxillary central incisor and the cardiac end of stomach also measures 45. Now why do we need this length? As I had already mentioned we need to perform procedures like endoscopy for which we need to pass a probe right. So obviously you'll need to know what extent it's possible and appropriate for you to enter the endoscope. And now there might be another question in your mind. Why did we choose maxillary incisor as the reference point? Can you think about it? It's because maxilla is a fixed structure rather than mandible. Have you noticed that when you chew, it's your mandible that moves and not the maxilla? Notice it from now onwards while eating if you haven't yet, that it's your mandible that moves right and left while chewing. Now I assume you guys already know that the fetus is connected to the mother through placenta and via the umbilical cord. So the length of that cord too is 45 centimeters. And sharing a GK fact with you all, sartorius is the longest muscle in human body whose length too is 45 centimeters. So summing up, the structures that are 45 centimeters in length are the vas difference or ductus difference, the thoracic duct, the spinal cord, femur for a 6 feet person, the transverse colon, the distance between the incisor teeth to the cardiac end of the stomach, the length of umbilical cord at birth and the length of sartorius muscle. You can use this mnemonic too, which is an easy sequence of English alphabets that I had made for myself. S-T-U-V S stands for spinal cord and sartorius muscle. T stands for thoracic duct and transverse colon. U stands for umbilical cord. And V stands for vast difference. In addition to this mnemonic, you gotta remember these two extra structures, femur and length between the incisor and cardiac end of stomach. Sorry for missing out these two structures in the mnemonic, but I believe you guys will definitely remember them as well. So it's STUV plus femur plus the length between the maxillary incisor and the cardiac end of stomach. Keep this in mind. STUV. Okay? That's all for today. Stay subscribed for more such tricks and mnemonics. Till then, made it made it for you.